All right, welcome back everybody. Episode three of Let's Make Some Games. Uh, we've done a ton in the past two episodes and today we have got a huge list of things that need to be done. So today we have got a pretty big to-do list if you can see this right here. So first we need to make sure I got my screen on mirror, so you're not gonna be able to tell. Uh, first, we need to make sure that we have uh, some items to pick up. We have some enemies to avoid. We have some scorekeeping involved, so you get points for everything that you do. You lose points for things that you don't do well. The timer, it gives you a little bit of stress, kind of makes you realize that you can't sit there and then just enjoy the, um, the, the, the awesome, awesome art all day. Um, and then an indoor, and I put a question in there like I don't know if I want it to be a door or what, um, and then if I even get to that today. So that's our checklist for today. That is five things we want to get done. Likely we'll get four done at least, hopefully a fifth one, um, as long as my art skills are with me today. I've said it a million times, I'm not a great artist, so it's kind of difficult. Um, to figure out how long that is going to take. So um, we're gonna go back and take a look at what we've done so far. So what we've done so far is this awesome maze that we've created here. We've got that all in in place. As you can see right there, there we go. You can see the maze uh, right over here. It's empty, it's not decorated. Don't worry about that. We're not gonna get to that this week. And We've got our alien right here. We've got our ship right here. We know that we want the alien. The story is that the alien is going to go through the maze and pick up all the ship parts and avoid the enemies and not touch any of the sides of the maze and make it all the way to the end. So the next point in our story is the ship and the ship parts. So we got to set up the parts. We got to set up the ship and we got to figure out how everything kind of comes together. So that's what we're working on today and that's what we're going to do. We're going to dive right into it. So I've got all my coding here for my alien. I've got my maze here as another sprite. And so what I want to do is I want to add a new sprite and I do that every time. I don't want the pre-created stuff. I want to make my own. So I'm going to go click on paint and I'm going to make my ship parts. Um, now, if I go back to my drawing, I've got kind of a, it's meant to be a triangle, but it's obviously more of a rectangle. I'll make it more of a triangle when I'm done. And then I put in here uh, one, two, three, a fourth more difficult ship part, and five. And so um, first one should be pretty easy to get, and I'm trying to think of the shapes. Um, the problem is this one here is, optional so I'm gonna make it so that they don't have to go and get that ship part they could ignore it but the thing is like if it's a part for your ship you either need it or you don't so this optional one here I'm gonna make it something else something that's like oh a cookie that's dumb it's not gonna be a cookie but something like that so one two three four ship parts I've got to make and it'd be cool if I could somehow figure out how to make them so that they all kind of come together and make a solid shape that would be cool that is definitely not something that I'm set on doing because I just may not be able to do it. So let's get started. Um, I want my ship, I'm gonna draw a shape, not a square or a circle, and I want it to have a, oh, that's right, I don't like how to do this. So saturation, brightness, there we go. I want it to have kind of a silvery look to it. Uh, blue, maybe do that. Take saturation down, make it like that. Let's see how that looks. And then I always do this, but my line should be about 10. Yeah. And then I look over it on here and see how it looks. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that color. Okay. Um, so I need to think of a shape and I don't want it to be like a triangle square. Um, let's make it, I hold down shift and it lets me do lines that snap into place. See that? Um, zero, 45, 180, like that pull off of here. Oh, I know, we'll make like a step. That one's an easy one to start with. with like a little thing like that. And then maybe, ah. And then maybe, oh, have it connect up like that. That's kind of cool. Um, now I just need to fill it in. Oh, what's cool about the fill is I can do like a weird sort of, um, yeah, what well you can see it there. That. Purple and blue kind of looks alien-y like. Let's make it from the middle, from the side. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, let's try from the top. Not as cool. And then let's try from the middle. Like 
Whoa. Whoa, I did not know I could do that. That is cool. I can change where the middle is on my paint here. Can I do that for the left and right as well? Nope. Can I do it for the up and down? Nope, it's just the middle. That's cool. I may not even like it that much, but I'm gonna do it just because I can. And I'm gonna put it like right there. I like that. All right, cool. Now I just need to change the size. Uh, let's bring it down to 20. Mm. A little too big. Let's make it 15. Yeah, that's a good size. Now the first one I wanna have kinda here at the beginning where it's a little bit easier to get to. I don't wanna make it too challenging. So I wanna go back to here. Put it right there. That way it's like right away when you turn the corner. Oh, I gotta pick this thing up. Cool, pick it up. Um, now I'm gonna duplicate. Ah. If I duplicate it now and draw another one, then I gotta do all the coding for that one again. So okay, I'm gonna do all the coding for this one, then duplicate it, done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all the coding for this, and then when I duplicate it and I change the shapes, all the coding will stick and I won't have to keep doing it over and over and over again. So I'm gonna go in and it's events, when green flag is click, forever, if blank then blank so if touching then blank and simple I mean this is just what I did last time if touching no mouse pointer that would be way too easy touch done if touching oh my alien guy's name is sprite one I can't have that Al Ian alright if um, we'll call this a ship piece one you can see the number there. All right. If ship piece one is touching alien, then do something. All right. This is where I have to start getting into my variables. And so I need to make a variable. It's a scorecard. Um, I'm going to call it ships collect, ship ugh, pieces collected. Or all sprites, this probably all sprites. That's fine. All right, so if you touch the alien, then set my variable, oh, um, change it by one. Okay, so here we go. Um, here's my scorecard, and when I touch that, that should become one. So, do I dare just try it in big screen mode? Am I ready for big screen mode? All right, come down here. Okay, did I leave off somewhere last time that I don't remember? No, I think I just messed up. Okay, first of all, he went behind it, and I don't want that. Second of all, he didn't give me any points. But, okay, yeah, we get that. Remember, uh, I remember now. The guy explodes. I'm really proud of that one. All right. When green flag is touched, if touching alien, then change my... Oh, duh, I left it as my variable. It should be ship pieces collected. So let's try it again. Big screen mode was not my frame that time. All right, there we go. Now, come on. Here. There we go. Look at all those points I'm getting. I can just sit back and rack up all the ship parts. I needed four, and I've got 175, 195, 225, 230. I could watch this all day. I am really good at this game, and I'm not even doing anything. I'm not touching anything, and my score is just racking up non-stop. Oh, then I lost. No, oh, nothing happened when I lost. Okay, I got a lot of work to do to clean this up. All right, first of all, I've talked about this a million times. Computers are very smart, but they're not... They're very intelligent, but they're not very smart. Or so are they very smart, not intelligent, whatever it is. They're not humans. So they don't know how to do all these things. They're not up here in my brain. It's saying, hey, you told me if you're touching that ship piece, give you a point. Well, you touched it for like 45 seconds, and I gave you a point every millisecond. So you've got 450 points. So I need to change it. Uh, when green flag is clicked, forever. If touching alien, then change my ship pieces collected by one. And I need it to wait. Is that an event? I can't ever remember. Yeah, it is. No, it's control. Wait. You know, I don't want to wait one second. That's way too long. Um, I'm gonna have to wait point two seconds. I don't know why. I just choose point two seconds. Point five half a second seems way too long. One second clearly is way too long. Point one's too short. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to give me a point. Wait. 
And if it waits 0.2 seconds, it's gonna go back and give me a point again. So I gotta do something in between that. Give me a point, wait, and do something so that if it tries to give me a point again, it goes, no, 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 you only get one point for that. And I'm just gonna have it hide. I'm gonna have it disappear. So I'm gonna say, give me my point, wait a second, 0.2 seconds, and then disappear. Boom, go away. Hide. All right, if I did this right, big screen mode, I feel pretty good in this. Big screen mode, don't even need to make a change. I'm gonna hover over it, get my point, 0.2 seconds, two tenths of a second later, that thing's gonna disappear. Green flag, I'm gonna ignore the fact that my points are still at 600 and... And now it's gone. What happened? How did that happen? All right, well, I know I need show at the beginning when I click the green flag, bring it back. Man, big screen mode is not my friend today. I, I have not earned big screen mode. I need to play down here for a little while. All right, come over, get it. Oh, look at that, it went away. Yeah, yeah, that makes both I feel. And now if I click the green flag again, it should come back. I'm not thrilled that two times on a row now it's disappeared. Disappeared, cool. All right, green flag. Oh, I feel like there's a lag. Between when I cl click the green flag and the alien's still huge, I think there's like a flip where the piece comes back and my alien is still huge and it's just barely touching that piece and it's giving me credit for it and I'm not done anything. So I'm gonna have to put a weight in here. Control, weight. All right, I'm gonna try point one second because I don't want the player to notice it. I don't want this to be blank and then the player see all these ship pieces pop up. I want it to just be boom, play, go. Let's try this. Green flag. All right, there it is. Grab it, it's gone, I lose. All right, cool. Stop, green flag. All right, that seemed to have fixed it. Right, lost, spinning, alien blew up, click green flag, it's back, go, catch it, done, awesome, 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 that's exactly what I wanted. All right, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. changes my, oh, my score. I'm just ragging up the points here. So I need to set it so that, and I tend to do this on the background, is that where I do it? I tend to say, uh, I try try to do things like this that aren't sprite specific. This has nothing to do with the ship piece. It has nothing to do with my alien. It has nothing to do with the maze. It's just about my points. So I'm gonna say when the green flag is clicked, set my score. What did I call it? Ship piece is collected to zero. That way when I click, the, we'll do this big screen mode so you can see it easier. It says 629. I've clearly not played this game enough to collect that one piece 629 times. That's left over from when it wasn't working a couple minutes ago. So I'm going to click green flag. goes back to zero. Grab my alien. Hover over. I get the point. One point. That's it. Oh, I'm so good at this game. This game's way too easy. Oh, I just lost. All right. Click stop. If I click the green flag, that one should turn back to a zero did it so I feel pretty good about this I like the way that ship piece looks it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do and so now I'm ready to get out of big screen mode um, that's where my thing I'm gonna come back over here I like all of this and before I make a copy and make three more ship pieces and do all that I want to make sure that my code is exactly the way I want it because if I make copies and move it over and one thing's wrong, then I gotta go back to all four of them and change it. And that's a pain, because I always just miss one. I always do. So, click the green flag. Wait, 0.1 seconds. Show the ship piece. If I'm touching it, give me a point. Cool. Wait 0.2 seconds, get rid of it. If I fail, click the green flag, bring it back. All right, I like it. I'm going with it. Here we go. Right click, duplicate. Cool, now I've got ship piece two, and I need to move my alien back. We'll just do that, there we go. And there's my ship piece two, I'm pretty sure that's it, yep. And that one, if I go back to my drawing, I want that one kind of around the corner, so you're gonna have to make a turn before you get that. Actually, I like that, right? Right where that is, is exactly where I want it to be, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna leave that there, but I don't like the way it looks. I wanna change it. And I think it would be cool to make it so that this piece this piece fits the other half. So, um, line, outline. oh cool, all that stuff stayed the same. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go from here. Is that in line? That 
is pretty much in line to here. And then trace back. Oops, not what I want. Trace back over. Trace back over. Trace back over. It's not perfect. You're never going to know. Trace back over. Cool. Now I'm going to get rid of this. Oops, no, 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 no. Now I'm going to get rid of this. Delete. Look at that. I'm left with a piece that if I was to put it up against this one down here, it would match. I'm going to fill it in with that same cool thing, but I'm going to make it like that. Can I drag these? Nope. Not on big screen mode. Um, I think if I do this, that's not what I want. Nope. All right. If I was to drag this and put it right on top, look, it looks like it makes a full piece. So that's cool. Um, oh. That's got an idea. What if when I touch those pieces, they don't disappear, but instead they go off to the side like a little collection? Like it's like, congratulations, you've collected or whatever. See what I mean? I say this one's perfect. I say I did it all, and then I changed my mind. So here we go. This is gonna be super simple. Super simple. Super simple. Um, don't get rid of it after 0.2 seconds. If I touch it, wait 0.2 seconds and move it, and I'm gonna have it go to, Oh wait, first of all, I want it here. So I need to tell it, um, take away that show. If I'm not, oh man, I'm making mistakes. If I'm not gonna hide it, I don't need to show it. Wait, 0.1 seconds, go to this spot right here. So it's gonna go back to this spot. And then I'm gonna say, okay, if I touch it though, I wanna move it over here. And where is that? Oh, that's right, it fills it in for me. I'm gonna say go here. All right, so if I click start, this piece should go back over here, let me collect it, and if I collect it, it should go over there. Fingers crossed, let's see if this works. All right, move back, cool. Grab my alien, touched it. Yes, it did it. Now, if I do the same thing for this one over here, then it's gonna look like I'm completing or like I'm making, oh, my alien popped out, that's not good. It's gonna look like I'm making, uh, It's gonna make it look like it's making a piece. All right, so here we go. And it's gonna, oh, the pieces are gonna come together and it's gonna make like a rocket ship. Okay, I'm very happy about this. All right, here we go. Get rid of the height on this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this ship piece two, except I'm gonna say, um, okay, at the beginning, go to 4584, because that's where it is right now. And then I'm gonna move it over here and put it on top of this piece. I'm gonna leave it a little fragmented. So I'm going to increase the y-axis by like two, let's say. Oops, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's cool, but I want to shorten, I want to move it over more. Uh, 173. And then down one. Uh, negative 144. Got another x and y-axis to code. Well, that's pretty cool. Saying no one's gonna notice that it's not perfect, but now you're definitely gonna notice it's not perfect. But we're just we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, okay, and then okay, so if I if I win that, great, then go to here. All right, cool. Now let's test it. Big screen time. There's my alien. I'm gonna grab him. Hover over the piece. Boom. Try not to die. Boom. Sweet. So. I'm gonna make now like, um, I definitely need two more pieces. And I'm thinking that that, the, this one that's supposed to be like super hard to get to, I'm thinking I'm gonna make that one maybe a, a piece that like you don't need, but like maybe makes your ship look cool or something. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. But let's make the other two pieces. So, ah, of course. I'm not good at my own game. Some game devs are not good at their own game. They purposely make it hard because I know there's gamers out there that are better than them. So it's okay if you're not good at your own game. All right. I'm going to duplicate again and hope that I don't have to make a whole other change. Look at that. It's automatically naming it for me and everything. All right. Here we go. Um, 
first things first, I need to put this piece where I want it to go. And I said I was gonna put the next one at the end of this corridor. But there's not much room at the end. That's like repetitive. So maybe I'll put it right here. Oh, what? No. I don't want you to have to go down this corridor because this is smaller than everything. It's supposed to be a challenge. It's like you can barely fit in there. That's a challenge. Oops, don't do that. Um, blah, 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 blah. But if I put it here, yeah, we'll put it here. Okay, so the, the fourth one will go here. I'm going to put the third one over here, like I said before, up in the corner. And I need to change the shape of this one now. So I'm going to make this one be like maybe the top of my ship. Because um, as I said, everybody knows alien ships are triangles. They're not saucers. They're not rocket shape. It's science. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this. Come on, get rid of all this. All right, and then now, grab our line, and we're gonna make it like this, and then like this, and then I hope I measured that right. Nope, of course not. So now I gotta zoom in and delete that. Why is it leaving that little bump there? Kind of cranky today, and so when the game's not doing what I want it to do, I get frustrated. And my whole deal is to teach kids how to get frustrated with video games. I teach them how to get frustrated with playing video games. Making video games is different. I'm doing the best I can. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna fill this in. So when those two come together, there's like a purple thing in the middle. So I think I might have this one be like barely purple at the top. There we go. Okay. Um, Size-wise, I need to see how this looks on top. It would look like that, and it would look like that. It needs to be bigger. Uh, 20? Whoa, that's not the right one. No, 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 no. Escape, escape. Was it 15 before? Yeah. All right, this one, 20. is too big. Um, but barely, let's try 18. 18 too small. 20 is too big, 18 too small. I think we know which one will work, hopefully. 19, is that perfect? You can't tell, but I've got my face like right up against the screen because I can barely see. Yeah, that's cool, that works. I've moved all the pieces around where I don't want them, so I'm gonna click here so that those kind of go back. And then I'm gonna put the triangle here. That's cool, that works, I like the way it looks. And then I gotta do all this all over again for the triangle. I don't want to go to 4584, that's the other one. I want to go to negative, I want to go 19470. Remember, Scratch looks at where the sprite is and says, hey, I'm gonna guess for you that you want it to go exactly where you have it. Yep, I do. And then I'm gonna move it. Um, oh. I need to collect these pieces. <laughs> hey, I'm still getting points. Oh, I can just sit here and watch my points again. Clearly need to fix that. All right, let's stop and play. I have to win my game again, because uh, I have to see how those two stack to know exactly where that triangle should go. I can guess it and kind of move them around, but it's not gonna look right. I gotta like legit play the game like somebody else would and try to get their so over, 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 over. Okay, cool. Now I gotta figure out how I can stop the game. I don't know how to stop the game and not tell well. I didn't do it. Alright, stop. Oh, okay. No, that's good. That's good. He's out of the way enough. Alright, here we go. Okay, I don't like that. It's too far away. So, no, it's the x axis. I need to move over. Um, so, we'll do 177. Cool, there we go. Um, and as I look at it, I just don't like the way my other pieces are. So I'm gonna move those. I'm gonna move this down. So I'm gonna make it negative 146. And I'm gonna move it over and make it x172. There we go. And I'm gonna make it 
so I need to bring that back over. Change that, then we want more triangle. And I need to move that down a little bit, so negative 122, let's try. And then let's try X is 174. Nope, too far, 175. Oh, looks good. Weird looking ship, but what are you gonna do? All right, cool. Now if I play this game, everything should go back where it's supposed to. And as I collect the piece, Told you I'm cranky today. I'm not in a great mood, especially for a Friday. What? Not even close. Not even close. How'd that happen? Oh, wait. Okay. That's not right. Oh, I know, because I never updated it. See, I left it all in here as like 173, ding it 144. I never pulled it over. Computer, I apologize. You did nothing wrong. I wasn't thinking. All right, let's do it one more time, see if it works. Grab my guy here, there we go. Boom, done. Boom, done. Building my ship, building my ship. Boom, done. Cool. Works. I actually do kind of like the way that ship looks. It's like very weird prism, like the, the purple doesn't match up entirely right, so it makes you look like you're looking at something foreign. We're gonna talk about that in a second, that if we're pretending we're the alien and everything looks normal, then that means from my perspective as a human, what is normal to me should look weird to the alien. So we'll talk about that in a second. So um, I'm happy with it. Stop that. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna move that guy out of the way. Green flag, everything goes where it needs to go. Cool, I just need to make one more piece. Um, Maybe I'll make a smaller triangle on the bottom. Uh, let's try that. Duplicate. Get rid of the. Oh, get rid of this triangle. I'm making like a lot of really dumb mistakes today, but that's okay. We all have those days where we're just not. Firing on all cylinders when we're not like a perfect person. Rarely are we perfect. Um, okay, if that comes together, the purple's on the bottom, then I'm gonna want the purple. It's kind of stacked actually now. Look at it, it's like purple, purple, blue, purple at the top. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put the purple all the way at the bottom. Okay, now the problem is though, the pieces don't match up. It's not a good size. Okay, so again, I gotta play my game to try to get those pieces stacked into the shape of a, there we go. Um, and then come up here and try to get that out of the way. So it's not in the way, ah, oh, geez, that thing moved around, okay. No, I don't like how that looks. It's like an origami bird. And I do not like birds. Uh, no, I don't want to change the direction. Um, I'm gonna change the size. Let's make it, I'm gonna guess, 14. Did I do it right? There's no way. I've not had that kind of luck today. Yeah, no. Um, let's try 12. Yep, definitely have not had that kind of luck because that's still not the worst. I don't like the way that looks. I'm not thrilled with that. Let's change its direction. Let's make it zero. We talked last week about how... Do I like that better? No, I really don't. <laughs> I gotta find something that kind of looks cool. Oh, that kind of looks cool. Yeah, I kind of like that. Looks weird, foreign, alien-like. Needs to be up a little higher though, the Y. 
axis, I need to make it closer to zero. So instead of negative 82, I'm gonna make it negative 81. And let's do it one more time, negative 80. I like it. I'm not in love with it, but I like it. Okay, cool. Um, so I need to remember that space. So if I touch that, I want it to go to the completed ship. So that's that 181, negative 80. And then I'm gonna go put it where I want it to go. Oh, I didn't even think about, wait, green flag, where does this one go? Okay, this one goes like up here. Although it's kind of a good size to go right there at the end. No. I got a point. I thought something. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here, make it somewhat easy to get. Okay, so I just gotta go get all that and your ship is done. Okay, so now for the difficult thing to get to, I'm gonna make a new variable, a new way to keep score. So I'll make a variable and I'm gonna call this one. Um, okay, so what, what would be cool for the alien to collect as like a bonus? Like, hey, you did a great job. You didn't have to do this, but you got it. Mm. Snow globe. What, what do you get every time you go on like a vacation or whatever? Every time you go to the airport, you go to the bus station, train station, you go into a, a hotel, whatever. They always have snow globes. So I'm going to draw a snow globe and that's going to be like the super collectible. And that's going to go right there. Um, for the most part, I'm going to use kind of the same um, coding here. I'm just not going to have it go and be a part of the ship. But... Now I gotta figure out how to draw a snow globe. So I'm gonna go back to my paper here and I'm gonna try to sketch some things out. Okay, a snow globe, a snow globe. So snow globe, kind of like what I did with the alien. I'm gonna have to break it down into small, simple shapes that I understand because I'm not that great of an artist. So a snow globe basically is, um, that's like a half circle. Right? And some snow globes are just flat like that some have a base. I'm worried if I just make it flat, people are gonna be like, what is that? Um, of course, now they're gonna look at this and be like, what is that, a hat? Is that a beanie? Like, what is that? Um, so maybe put like a little shiny symbol. I don't know what you call that, where you make things look, and then maybe do like dots of snow. And then I could put like a little stick figure person in there. Um, but how can I make the base look like a snow globe? Maybe I could put words on there. Let's say like, um, um, all right, so in 1947, there was a crash at Roswell, New Mexico. That was where uh, the, one of the first aliens in America was ever supposed to, supposed to, supposedly had crashed. So let's make it a Roswell one. Roswell. Like that. Yeah, it's not bad. And I can do that shape. That's easy. I can do that. All right, so let's make our snow globe. <laughs> out of here put that there um snow globe here we go i uh, got rid of this delete change the name of this to snow globe we'll call it one because if i'm going to put other ones in place might as well plan um, doesn't show me the preview one i wish i could make this whole thing bigger it's like such a waste of white space here but it doesn't look like i can this was added in an update. I don't know if it was here the first time we did this, but um, you can now easily make things in the center of your sprite. It's really cool. Okay, let's do, um, well, the snow globe needs to be, can you do transparency in this? All right, well, well the snow globe either needs to be completely see-through or it needs to be like transparent. And I have a feeling you can't do transparency. Let's try. Let's just draw a circle. Can you change the transparency? Please tell me you can. That would be awesome if I could. There's a really cool free drawing program I use called Ink Space. Um, it's kind of complicated, but one of the, the, the best things you can do is you can um, have multiple layers of transparency on top of each other. I know it's not super complicated, every program can do that, but that's one of my favorite programs. And it just makes me think, ugh, there should be a transparency. So I can make this not completely solid, but also not completely see-through, like a globe. So that is not gonna work. So we need to start again 
and we need to say there is no fill and we need the outline to be I guess black I guess is all I would do is black right I don't know what else I would do and then I'm gonna hold down shift no I don't because I want it to be kind of oblong shape I don't want it to be a perfect circle so we'll make it like that see how it lets me snap it right to the middle it's a really cool feature I'm glad that they put that in let's see if I can erase through the middle that's a sloppy erase oh wow but that actually did exactly what I needed to how did I get that lucky maybe today is my day All right. it's my snow globe let's do the base the base I'm gonna make solid um, but I'm gonna make it like well actually I kind of like that color that's a cool solid color all right and I'm gonna like that yeah, I kind of like that. Can I make this bigger? I can. Make this a little bit bigger. And then put it. Let's put this right in the center, like that. Put this right in the center. In here. I know I'm doing this all out of order. I should do everything else first, but sometimes I just need to do certain things first. Ew, not sans serif. Um, let's make it pixely, video game like. Raw. Raws. Okay, I have my cap box on. Raws. Well, comma, and M for New Mexico. Uh, there's enough room. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm all over the place today. This is why I don't like to plan too much out. Because when you plan things out, like this, yeah, it's nice to have a to-do list. You gotta know what to do, but if you plan everything out, then it just, it's boring. It's just like, oh, I did this, check, oh, I did this, check. You do this, this is more fun. So this is gonna be cool. You don't have to, it just knows my snow globe is on its side. You don't have to collect it if you don't want to. Who cares, don't. But if you want to, it's right there. I'm also noticing that the snow globe doesn't look like it has that big. Oh no, it does. It's just when it's small, you can't see it. Okay. Now I need to change the direction of my snow globe because it is not facing the way I want. It needs to be at 90 degrees. I'm gonna put my little snow globe guy over here for you to collect. And then right now it looks like a looks like a protractor. So I need to gussy it up a bit so i need to do a little scene inside so let's do a um full saturation let's do a sun let's do like um <coughs> if you've been to new mexico you know the sun's not really yellow it's like a gross burning like orange um not a big fan of the sun at all Love the desert, just for some reason don't like the sun, and I know that those things usually go together, but let's do that for the sun, and we'll give it not, maybe we can make it kind of small. There you go. Can I put it up in the corner like that? That's the sun. Let's draw in a desert. Make it brown and dirty, easy to see, so we can clearly tell it's brown. Where we get to that bitmap thing. I'm not fooled about that. Okay. I don't want to make this a bitmap because I know the minute I do, I'm going to regret it. So let's fill this in. Is this a great way to spend your Friday? Watching a guy just fill in a fake desert on a snow globe for an alien to collect? Oh, I know. 
I'm gonna make these lines clean. I'm gonna make this line crisp. I know this doesn't make for a great video, but if I don't do this, I'm not gonna know. Right? Oh my gosh, I just made a red line. All right, nope, abandon that. Go back to what I was doing before. Just fill it all in. Fill it all in. Details no one's gonna notice on that small little thing, but details I'm gonna notice when I open it up to show somebody, hey, show me your game. Okay, here, let me show you. And then, oh, cringe, it's not even, oh, I can't believe I missed that one pixel there. No one will ever notice it. <laughs> if I wasn't streaming this for anybody to see, no one would ever notice it's there. But every now and then you gotta choose something to have pride in. You have to say, no one will notice it, but I will. And every now and then you gotta do the opposite, which is, you know what? It's causing me a lot of stress right now. It's not that big of a deal. It's not worth me being stressed out and frustrated. I'm gonna just ignore it. Um, we did that in that first week with my alien. I don't love the alien. He's got like a weird extra elbow here. This guy's got this weird little like elbow hanging down. So maybe from his world, he's got two elbows. When I was drawing that that first week, I was like, ooh, yuck, I hate that. But I'm not gonna make you guys watch me draw elbows for 45 minutes. So I'm like, ah, you know what? It's frustrating me, it's making me angry. I'm gonna move on. There's no point in getting frustrated with that. It's just, it's just a pain. I've gotta have a steady hand. So see how it drips down a little bit there? I'm gonna choose to ignore that. It's close enough. Y you're never gonna notice it. You might if you're watching right now. You might point out later and just say, hey, my snow globe, I saw it drip down a little bit. I can always draw a black line back over it if I want to on top. In fact, I'm gonna do that. As I'm sitting here telling you, no, don't worry about it. Let things, some things go. I'm like, ooh, but that one's gonna be hard to ignore. Um, so let's come back out. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. Don't do that. D don't do that. I don't get why that one's... All right. So see now, it actually looks like a nice crisp line. Look at that. I'm spending so much time on a snow globe of all things. All right, cool. Got the sun, got that. Oh, cactus, of course. Um. Watch me struggle with drawing a cactus. Let me try to do this first. Okay, so cactus. Good start. Good start. Um, it's got like an elbow out like that, right? And it comes up like that. And then I, what I've always noticed is that cactuses are asymmetrical. They're never on the same side. So it's not like this. It's kind of like this or like this. It's like a cactus doing the robot. So we're gonna come out like that and down. Yeah, we'll do a. Uh... No, I've lost my pins. There it is. I was gonna have your red pen with you. We'll do a little apple on the side like that, or maybe over here. Eh, we'll do one like that. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but cactus whiskers. The cactus whiskers on there. And then light green, some striations. To kind of show the needles, I guess you could say. The cactus. So And I'm gonna fit all that in this really tiny snow globe that's going in this really tiny game, and you're never gonna see it. What else am I gonna do? Alright, let's start with the dark-ish, like a forest green, Kelly green, whatever that's called. And we're gonna come in here and here we go. Oh, like this, like that. I do like that scratch kind of says, hey, I think you're kind of trying to draw this shape. Let me do you a favor and make a little bit. Oh my, okay, that is an awful cactus. That's a complete undo. You don't even try to come back from that one. Let's do it again. I don't like that undo resets my color, so I'm not thrilled with that. 
All right, so let's do up. And I did a hard right over, huh? I need to be. I need to not be afraid to be big with my shapes. There we go. And come down. And go over. And come in. And come down. I don't love it, but you know what? On the big screen here, it's clearly a cactus. Um. All right, let's change the color to a brighter green. And then let's make the, like this. And we'll just do like illustrations, illustrations, illustrations. Word of the day is striations. I don't even know if that's the right word for this, but like strips, stripes, lines, whatever you want to call it. Like that. Cactuses are not see-through, they are solid. So now I need to fix that. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of luck with that. I feel like I need to complete the cactus in order to fill it in. Maybe I need to draw down here. All right, now let's see if that lets me fill it in. Yes. And I don't, I like that idea of blending the colors. I just don't like the color. Good enough. Let's see what it looks like over here. Yeah, it's cool. You're not even gonna see those striations. I don't know that. Um, and then let's move this cat. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna group that together so treat it as one piece. And let's move it, and I'm gonna put it in front of the dirt to give it some perspective. And that's it, because everything else I'm thinking to put in here, I can't draw. I I'm not going to draw a coyote or, or a rabbit or anything like that. I think it's cool the way it is. It's a snow globe. It's clearly a snow globe. It says on there, Roswell, New Mexico. You can see the cactus. This little dot here is bugging me. I've been trying to ignore it the entire afternoon, but it is just bugging me, and I cannot ignore it any longer. I'm going to have to take care of that. And we have spent 45 minutes drawing triangles and cactuses and snow globes. Let's do some better coding. All right, so come over here. If you touch the snow globe, I might have this one just straight up disappear. It's a collectible. You collected it, it's gone. If you collect, you know, something in another game, it doesn't show up again, it's just gone. So I'm gonna say, when you collect it, wait 0.2 seconds, hide. When the game starts, show it again, so you have a chance to get it if you fail. But don't add it to there, add it to snow globes. There we go, okay. So if I play this game, and I collect all those pieces, if I collect everything, it should put my ship together and it should give me a snow globe collectible. I think we're ready for big screen mode. I feel confident in big screen mode. Big screen mode means I feel like I have coded this perfectly. There's nothing to change. I'm not gonna have to immediately jump over and fix something off to the side. If I'm not very confident, I leave this up here because I might need to make a change to something real quick. Big screen mode is, I did it, I'm good. I feel really confident. I'm gonna take a nice drink of water. I'm gonna play my game. Here we go. Got my alien, got ship piece one. Why did it just give me a credit for two? Oh, because it moved that one. Oh, and now my hand explode. And now it's getting points after points after points. Not my day, not my day. 
I'm not going to end on that. We are going to have a success before the end of this session tonight. We will have a success. We will figure out what is going on with this ship piece. Well, you know what? It's because I never really figured out what to do with it. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now. I figured out where it goes with the ship. I never put it where it's supposed to go at the beginning of the game. Ha, ha, ha. It's not as bad as I thought it was. You know what it rarely is? Something happens, I get frustrated, like really frustrated. I walk away, 10 minutes later, I'm like, eh, you know what, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. And when they tell you to take a breath, take a step, take a break, and you're like, no, I could walk away for an hour and I'm promising you I'm still gonna be frustrated. Um, but I'm actually noticing most times, you take a couple minute breaks, it's not that bad. So this was like a five second break. Frustrated, that piece just flew to the other side of my map when it wasn't supposed to, went back, realized, eh, it's not that bad. All right, here we go. Wait, why did it give me a snow globe point? Oh, I know, because at the start of the round, I didn't set it to change the snow globe to nothing. So, we're not ready yet. Not ready for big screen mode yet. Set snow globe to zero. There we go. Okay, here we go. Big screen mode, ready, and go. Snow globe set to zero, that's cool. Here we go, got my alien. Over, over, get my piece. I'm right on my desk space here, got my alien. All right, I'm feeling gutsy. I'm gonna go get that snow globe. I really don't wanna lose on this. All right, cool, got my snow globe, it disappeared. That's fine, it's collectible, it should. And uh, I'm gonna do it out of order, why not? Grab that one. Grab that one. Oh, that's cool. If you get it out of order, it looks pretty cool. And there's my ship. It'd be cool if I could make it. Um... Where the ship goes. And then takes off. I just think that'd be cool. But then it means it took off without me. That's not cool. Okay. Awesome. I did this. I did it. All right. Um... I need to, notice I when it blew up, it still gave me points. I need to tell it to stop. So I need to have it stop. That is not what I wanted at all. I don't know how that happened. So get rid of that. Stop, not all, this script. Stop this script. So that if for some reason I happen to randomly touch them, like if I die in the game, it doesn't give me that 46 points or whatever. It just It's like, no, you already collected the piece. I'm not going to need any more points if you happen to mistakenly touch it. If you manage to cheat my game somehow and figure out how to touch that, you're not getting extra points. You're starting back at the beginning. Big screen mode. I'm feeling confident now. I said it wasn't my day, but I'm starting to feel pretty good about this. Got it. Got it. So now what I need to do is I need to get these and I need to fail on purpose and have my guy hover over. Yeah, look at that. You can touch that ship piece all you want. You're not getting any more points. You got your four. You got your four. Oh, and I picked up the snow globe. <laughs> the big alien head swooped over there like a circle and just grabbed that snow globe. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I am not going to worry about that today. It is way too late in the night. And I am pushing my luck with what I've done so far. All right. I love it. Now, it's time to start talking about the enemies. What is the enemy to my alien in this situation? Well, it's a human, of course. So I'm going to um, kind of run out of space here. The alien looks normal-ish, right? Like it looks like what you would expect an alien to be. It's got circles. Um, I'm going to go to the costume look. It's got, you know, a head, it's got eyes, it's got a mouth, it's got hands and feet. I'll animate that all next week. Um, so it looks relatively normal. But I was thinking today, as I was trying to figure out what the enemy should be, and I'm like, oh, it should be humans. And I'm not that good at drawing people. What can I do? Well, okay, so if I'm playing the game as if I'm an alien, everything on Earth should look weird to me. As a human, humans look normal normal whatever that means right i'm used to it as an alien it should look different to me so i'm going to draw humans in a different style than the alien so the alien is very round and flowy 
He's got his robe. He's got his extra elbow there. He's got his big eyes, his big head, his little crooked mouth, not quite sure what's going on. So I'm gonna draw the humans different. And this is gonna accomplish two things. Number one, it's gonna add some artistic flair to it and make it actually look like I've thought this through, which I did, you just heard me. Um, and two, it's gonna make it so I don't have to embarrass myself and try to draw a realistic human. And I mean like embarrass myself. You've seen how I draw a cactus, okay? It's not bad, but it's not great. Can you imagine that? That's what my arms look like on a person. That, those are elbows for me. We already established with the alien. I, I, I give aliens extra elbows. So um, I don't need to embarrass myself. So I'm going to use these squares to my advantage and I'm going to basically draw out a human. So I'm gonna do a blocky shoe and a leg. And then I'm going to do another blocky shoe and another leg. Like that. And see, I already made a mistake. That shouldn't be there. That leg should just go all the way up like that. And then, oh, I already don't like it. I'm gonna give him kind of a, a torso with an arm like that. Starting to look a little bit like a Minecraft zombie. And I ran out of room, scratch that out. And then I'm gonna give him kind of a, okay, so I'm gonna come over here. Pretend this is all connected. And then I'm gonna give him kind of a blocky looking head like this. And I'm gonna give him a blocky looking eye and a blocky looking mouth like that. And then I'm gonna have him, as they move, I'm gonna have his feet go up and down. So I'm gonna draw, um, I'm gonna draw a second version of it. And I'm, sorry, my book's making noises. And then I'm gonna have the feet switch. So I'm gonna have it be, um, I gotta figure this out, uh, like this. And then like this, so it's like that. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, I think it is. Oh, no, 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 no. This needs to be in front. Yeah. Okay, cool. I got it. All right. Let's draw this and be done with this tonight. And that's the last thing we're going to do tonight. So I'm going to make a new sprite. Da -da 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 -da. Paint a new one. Come in here. And um, so I'm going to make his shoes. It keeps suggesting purple, but you know what? I'm gonna do purple. Purple shoes are cool, so I'm gonna do purple shoes. So we'll do a purple shoe like that, and I'm gonna copy and paste. Come on. Oh, where's my copy paste? Oh, I know why, because I'm here. Copy, paste, do another purple shoe, and I wanna kind of up and recess like that. I'm gonna give them brown. Uh, brown. I'm gonna give them blue pants. No, I'm not gonna give them blue pants because then that does legit look like a Minecraft zombie. Um, oh, pink. Hot pink pants. Yes, sorry. That is what I'm gonna do. Give them hot pink pants. There's gonna be one super fly human. All right, here we go. Like that. That is that in line? You can go up a little bit like that. There we go. Copy, paste. I always figure the copy and paste doesn't work with the keyboard. And then like that, and come down a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna move both of these down. I'm gonna group them so they move together. I'm gonna move them down a little bit more. They're too far apart. All right. And I'm gonna complete, what, why is it doing that? Don't do that. Have it fill pink. And then I'm gonna have it, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this might be way, way, Way too much for me to tackle right now, tonight. Let's see here. That's not looking like what I saw in my mind. Oh, I know why. Let's move this to the back. Um, and then move 
this all the way to the back. Was that right? I'm gonna move this all the way up. And all the way to the front. Then move this all the way down. I'm just messing until it looks right. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Wait. What do pants look like? Why does it look right here? <laughs> what am I missing? That goes all the way to the top, that goes all the way to the top. I think that's right. Alright. I'm just going to say that's right, because I don't know what's going on. Um, let's give them a, oh, I like that, that's a cool color. I'm just going crazy with colors today. Give them kind of like a, a shirt, make it hang over a little bit, so it gives them some depth, some of that artistic depth I hear so much about. Give him an arm in the middle that's reaching out like that. Looks pretty sweet. Um, I need to move everything down because I'm running out of a room. And then I'm gonna give him kind of a blockhead look. A blocky head look. Um, I'm gonna make him kind of like a dark orange. And I'm gonna make the outline a little bit thicker. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like a pumpkin. <laughs> I just realized I should have this head as he walks, like go back and forth, like, <laughs> like that. Definitely have to do that now. Okay. Uh, I'll make sure that's set correctly. Yeah, I like that. That's not too bad. All right. Um, give him blocky eyes. <clears throat> give him blue eyes. Why did it do that? Don't do that. This, like he's a little bit angry-ish. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm gonna have his mouth go a little bit off like that. And you know what, along those lines, I'm gonna have his eye come off a little bit like that. I like that, ooh, dude, I really like that. Now I'm gonna scroll up here, I'm gonna give him a pupil. You know, I say this every week. It's okay to admire your work. I like the way this looks. This looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. All right, uh, I just need to do the hands. The enemy of every artist is hands. I'm, I'm not a good artist, so I'm not even gonna try. Even good artists have problems with hands. So I'm gonna just come in here. Nope, don't want that thickness. I want it to be like two. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw like a thumb. Paste that. Put in this right there. Pull that out to make a finger. Copy paste. Make fingers. Copy paste. Just like the Simpsons, he's only gonna have four. It's really hard to draw that fifth finger. There is his hands, or are his hands. I'm going to highlight that, group it, and make a copy and paste it, and I'm going to send it all the way to the back, and that is going to be like that. And I'm actually going to make this, 
fun group. I'll make this a little bit of a lighter. So it looks like it's on the other side. And probably because it's on the other side, it needs to be back further. Mistake after mistake after mistake. Group. All the way to the back. And then move it back like that. Cool. That's my human. I don't know if I wanted to have a hat. You know, if I'm gonna make that lighter in the back, I need to make these pants lighter right here. Dude, I can't remember if that's... Yeah, there we go. Ah, but they look, it looks wider here than this one, right? It might not be, but it looks like it, so I'm gonna make that wider down. Sometimes what's technically perfect, like, hey, these are exactly 30 pixels wide by, you know, 100 pixels tall, and both of them are, but it doesn't look right. Um, to the eye may not look the same and sometimes you got to do something that's not technically equal because it looks equal what is that where is that erase erase all right i guess i'm gonna have a floating dot forever Okay, uh, now I need to shrink him down. So let's shrink him down to, let's try 50. Whoa, nope, way too big. Let's try 20. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, and then on my setup here, I wanted my first enemy where, oh, right here, going back and forth. So I'm gonna have him go, yeah, so I'll have him troll back and forth here. Da -da 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 so I'll do that next week. Um, I'll be able to duplicate him, put him over here, and then put another one over here and kind of, you know, design them to look different a little bit. Um, but I kind of like that. You know what I'm going to say? I'm really happy with my designs today. For somebody who is, you know, not a good artist, self-professed not a good artist, I like the way my ship pieces all come together. I really like my snow globe. That really clicked with me. I'm so happy I just randomly thought of that. It's like he's a tourist now. I love that. Like he's on vacation. Yeah, he's got to put his ship back together. He's on vacation. I love that. Um, and I kind of love the design of my guy. Reminds me of like those Nickelodeon cartoons I watched in the 90s. He looks very much like a, a Nickelodeon cartoon guy. So I'm going to check my checklist here. Items to pick up. Done. Enemies to avoid. Uh, kind of. Question mark. Scorekeeping. I did that piece. Timer I didn't do, and Endor I didn't do. So, um, unfortunately, of all the stuff I was supposed to do, I was really only able to cross off two of them. Um, but that's fine. I'm happy. That's what matters. I'm happy with the progress I made. There are times where I work on something, and I'll work on it for five hours, and technically check, 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 check everything, walk away, come back the next day, and I go, oh, barf, who did that? Oh, no. Throw it all out and start all over. And there's other times where I'll spend four hours on just one thing. And on a checklist, I technically only get to check one thing, but I'm really, really proud of it. And today I'm really, really proud of what I was able to do. So find something this weekend that you can do that you can be really, really proud of. Even if it's just one thing, don't worry about doing a ton of stuff. Do one thing that you're really proud of. Maybe it's making a game, maybe it's drawing, maybe it's uh, practicing a musical instrument, uh, maybe it's beating a, a level in a game. Uh, just find something that you're really proud of, even if it's just one thing and do it really well this weekend i've already got my one thing which is i i really like my snow globe i really like my snow globe um and i like my human i'm gonna think more about it i'll probably make changes to him but the snow globe that's done and that looks good and i'm not even gonna apologize for saying that about my own thing because it looks awesome so find that something this weekend that you can do that you can be proud of and we will see you next week as we go deeper into making this game and as always if you can join us march 28th at play co compete we would love to have you have a great weekend we'll see you in a week